Hello! It is time for my May book haul. Now the first couple of quite large piles of books here are actually from April. I bought these at the end of April and I had already filmed my book haul for April at that point so they, they weren't in there but I did actually get them in April so there's quite a few that fall into that category but I've been much better about book buying in May and aside from books that I get in book boxes and any pre-orders that I am doing I am not I'm only buying one book for every five books that I get off my TBR. That's my new kind of plan, how long I stick to that we shall see, but so far I have been sticking to it so hopefully it will continue in that way. But let's get into the books that I have to show you today. So the first one, two, four, six, eight books that I'm going to show you are all in one series and they were in the charity shop. So I already had the first book in this series on my shelf and this is all of the rest of that series apart from one book. And I mean it's a bit of a risk doing that because I haven't read book one yet and I don't know if I'm going to like it but I just couldn't pass up on the price of these because as I say these were from the charity shop but they were two pounds each when usually each book would cost nine pounds so normally to buy these eight books would have cost me 72 pounds and instead it cost me 16 pounds so I, I just couldn't pass that up to be honest it was just too good of a deal and like I said it's the entire series apart from the one book that I already had and one book from later in the series so it is the Malazan Book of the Fallen series that I'm talking about by Stephen Erickson and the first book which I already had is Gardens of the Moon so and I think I have these in the right order we have Dead House Gates, Memories of Ice, House of Chains, Midnight Tides, The Bone Hunters, Reaper's Gale, Dust of Dreams and The Crippled God. And as you saw the cover art it all matches across the books. The only thing is that those last two are the bigger style of trade paperbacks whereas this is the like mass market size you can see that they're a different size but even still I didn't I didn't mind that especially because I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this series anyway but again I just couldn't pass up that kind of money saving on this series 72 pounds 16 pounds instead it was just a no-brainer for me so I got those in the charity shop and then I also picked up Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft now this one is quite uh sort of sun damaged but otherwise the book is completely fine so I figure that this has probably been sat on someone's shelf for a while uh, unread although I didn't think it was even that old of a book 2013 so someone must have just had it for that maybe that long and just hasn't read it and I think it's it's got a little bit of a weird wavy page thing going on not that I don't think there's any water damage but anyway not the point again two pounds couldn't really pass it up if I really like this book then I'll probably just buy myself a new copy of it and then donate this one back into the system again but this one I am actually reading in June anyway and this one follows oh by the way I don't really know what the Malazan series is about so I'm not even going to attempt, attempt to explain it but this one follows Senlin who has just got married and he has gone to the Tower of Babel with his wife on their honeymoon but he loses her on their first day and he spends the rest of the book searching for her, possibly the rest of the series searching for her, I don't really know because I haven't read it yet but I've heard lots of really really great things about this one and when I saw it at the charity shop I thought you know what let me just pick it up 
because it is in such perfect condition apart from the yellowed slightly wavy pages so there's that one. And while we're on the subject of books from charity shops, the last time I, f I head to the charity shop relatively often now because I, Ponderful Books, we do this service. If you don't know what Ponderful Books is, it's my book business with my sister. We do a pre-loved mystery date with a book type service so we, we wrap up a book write a few prompts on it and then people just get a blind date with a book and I like to buy those pre-loved books from the charity shop because then I know that the money that we're spending on the books for that service is going to charity so I pop to the charity shop fairly regularly and the last time I was there I came across this one The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks and this has been on my TBR for I don't even know like eight nine years it's been on my TBR for a really long time and I don't know that this was necessarily the series I wanted to start with from Brent Weeks but again two pounds I thought let me just pick it up I'll read it if I end up liking it I'll probably just buy myself like a box set of the series and donate this one but two pounds I just couldn't I couldn't pass it up this one is about Durzo who is an assassin and Azoth who is his apprentice and it's a fantasy so yeah I was I was interested I decided to pick this one up it's not the worst condition ever either which is pretty good so yeah so that's all the charity shop books that I have so I think that the next category we'll look at is subscription box books so these are actually the April boxes from Fairy Loot and Illumicrate but they're, they're still having issues with shipping and orders of books coming in in time and that kind of thing so I'm hauling them in May's Hall because I've received the boxes in May. So starting off with the Illumicrate book we have In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland which has lovely stenciled edges and has custom end papers which are very nice. This one follows Rovan who lives in Thinopolis and in this world magic is forbidden and heavily regulated so those who have magic are bonded to undead spirits who then monitor every aspect of their lives and can control them and Rovan's father sacrificed himself so that she could be free of that life and she was in hiding for a long time but then of course her magic is discovered and she is taken to the palace and bonded with an undead spirit and also comes into contact with a princess seeking some kind of revenge and they form an unlikely alliance and there's also supposedly a polyamorous romance in here as well so super looking forward to reading this one I'm very excited. And then the fairy loot book is The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni, which follows a character named Kiva, who is a healer in a prison, as the name of the book would suggest. And then a, oh, let me just show you this. Isn't that so pretty? so so pretty and then the reverse of the dust jacket is a very pretty also so yes Kivan is a prison healer and then the oh, a v or a I'm not sure rebel queen arrives at the prison and she is really unwell or injured in some way but she has to the the rebel queen has to engage in a competition or challenge to be able to be released from this prison and so um why can't i remember this name kiva uh enters this challenge on the rebel queen's 
behalf so that they can both escape and I love the premise of people trying to escape from prisons and people starting off books in prisons and I like the whole healer aspect of this as well so I'm really looking forward to picking this one up also. Okay moving on to my pre-order that came in in the month of June we have Heartstopper volume 4 uh, which I had read most of already on Tapas but the the physical edition actually this time came out before the volume was finished on Tapas so I re basically read this straight away I reread the bits that I'd already read and then finished it so I have I have read this one if you don't by some miracle know what Heartstopper is. It's a graphic novel series that follows Nick and Charlie who fall in love and it's it's about them and their relationship and the things that they go through individually and together. Trigger warnings and content warnings for eating disorders, anxiety, depression, OCD, and suicidal thoughts for this particular volume. Those trigger warnings are actually written into the front as well. So she does write that in there. And this is a signed edition as well, which I bought from Gaze the Word, which is an independent bookshop in London. And finally, the final book I have to show you is A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Parry. I bought this one from Hive, which is an online bookshop that part of the proceeds of sale goes to independent bookshops. So it's the same place that we source our books for Pondiful Books from as well, because it supports independent small businesses. This one... I only heard of recently from Reagan on the Channel Peruse project and she said that she had heard that it was similar to Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell which you may know I read recently and adored, loved that book and so that intrigued me to want to pick this one up and I can see why they get compared. So this follows three characters, we've got uh, a hypnotist, Robespierre, who's calling for revolution in France, a weather mage, Toussaint Louverture, uh, leading the slaves of Saint-Domingue to freedom, and the Prime Minister, William Pitt, who's legislating, uh, for the, the, legislating the use of magic in Britain. And they'll have to combine their efforts for some reason that presumably will become apparent in the pages of this book. This is a much much shorter than Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell. I really look forward to reading this one and once I have I will definitely let you know if I agree with that comparison. I loved Jonathan Strange and Mr Norrell and so I don't think that this will live up to that. That never, that's never the case. Whenever somebody says, oh, this is like that, they're never the same. They're different books, but I'll be interested to see if I enjoy this one like I enjoyed that one. And I will, I will, of course, let you know this one is also floppy, which is always super nice. So yeah, those are the books that I picked up at the end of April and in May. Let me know if you picked up anything interesting in the month of May. Hopefully my June book haul will be a controlled size but we shall see and that's it for this one. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks! Bye!